Hi guys, welcome back to Golden Reviewer. This video is a very much requested low light photo comparison between the two Galaxy S21 Ultra variants. One is the Exynos variant and the one is the Snapdragon 880 variant. Uh, so in this video, I'll focus on low light photos. A uh, reason I'm not doing daytime photos is because um, nowadays all the smartphones are so good at uh, uh, daytime photos and you, you hardly tell any difference even between um, say mid-tier device and the flagship device so it's the comparison won't be interesting and uh, especially between these two variants the the daytime photo look almost exactly the same and uh, hardly anyone questions that right most of you just ask me uh, which one is better at low light because the low light is the real challenge for these smartphones nowadays uh, so I have these two devices on hand. I went out at night and, and I took a bunch of uh, low light photos. Uh, actually, it's much more than what you can see here. Uh, here what we have is just um, because I can't show you all, otherwise it will take uh, too much time and you will get bored. So this is just um, uh, the ones that I selected, uh, the ones that I want to show you today and uh, let you get a sense of uh, how different or if there is any difference between these two variants uh, when it comes to the image quality of uh, nighttime photos. So um, before we go to any image quality things, uh, I actually want to show you uh, one thing which is the viewfinder. Uh, this is very interesting. Um, if you can see here, uh, the, by the way, the Snapdragon 888 variant photo will always be on the left and the Exynos will always be on the right, okay? So here is uh, 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 the viewfinder screenshot of the ex exactly the same scene, right? It's a very uh, dimly lit scene. Although this is on uh, ultra wide lens, but it, it's actually the same for all lens. So I, I'll just show you this one example. You can actually see that uh, the Snapdragon 888 viewfinder is uh, noticeably cleaner than the Exynos one. Uh, if we zoom in a bit, if you just look at the trees, look at the detail in the trees. The the Exynos variant uh, is uh, blurry and I think uh, there isn't much detail. But on the Snapdragon one, just in the viewfinder, it's much more uh, clearer, right? The image quality is much better on the Snapdragon variant when it comes to the viewfinder. Um, but that, that doesn't mean that the image quality right after you actually take the photo is actually better. I, I will co come to that later. But this is just something I noticed straight away. And uh, I think it's interesting, so I, I mentioned it to you. Okay. And uh, now let's move on to the first comparison. Uh, this is um, um, from the main lens. Uh, if you are interested, I can actually show you the exit uh, info. So you can see that uh, they have slightly different uh, um, exit info, but I, I think these are not accurate anyway because these are night uh, night mode shots. They take uh, a few seconds to expose, so it's not like like uh, the the one um, that is what one over thirteenth of a second. It, it doesn't make sense, right? But anyway, so uh, let's uh, not worry about the exit info. Um, just look at these two images, I don't really see much of a difference, okay? They look practically the same, except that I see the color is a little bit more vibrant on the left, which is the Snapdragon, okay? But if I zoom in to 100%, it's interesting to see that the Snapdragon is actually not as clear as the Exynos. Um, this is not a... <clears throat> trend it's not um, uh, uh, something that will happen to all the photos but I just realized that uh, uh, it's more likely to have a slightly blurry slightly um, seem it just looks like out of focus that kind of photo with the snapdragon well on the Exynos it is um, easier to take clearer photos right so uh, I actually all the photos I took them two or three times so this is not some because of some random handshake it is a trend that i noticed okay uh, the snapdragon is usually more vibrant look at the colors if you would the trees 
uh, is a bit washed out on the X on the Exynos. But the Snapdragon sometimes is not as uh, clear, not as um, detailed as the Exynos, right? Uh, let's move on to next comparison, next photo. It's still on the main lens. Uh, I'll show you a few um, and all the lenses, right? So that uh, uh, you can know that it's not something that will randomly happen. And uh, I think it's the same here. No much difference uh, from the thumbnail. And if we zoom in to 100%, no much difference either, I think. Um, whether you look at the um, details in the truck or uh, far away down the road or at the darker areas, I think um, they are practically the same, okay? No difference here. And uh, what about next one? Uh, here we again we can see the the difference in color. I think the photo on the left is noticeably more vibrant, right? You see the the greenery, uh, the trees, the leaves. They they just seem more lively. While on the right on the axis, they look a little bit of uh, washed out. But if we zoom in to take a look at the details, uh, really no much difference. I think they are practically the same. Yes, they are the same. And the uh, next one, this is still from main lens. And again, I think it, the colors are a little bit better on the left, right? But if we zoom in to the details, they are the same. Yeah, they are the same, I think. Uh, or you can pause the video and uh, um, check out this set-by-set uh, -set comparisons by yourself. I think they are practically the same. Um, and uh, another one from the main lens. Again, color slightly vibrant on the Snapdragon. And zoom in for details. About the same. Okay. Mm. And I think this is the last, uh, uh, the last set of photos from the main lens. And I think we can see the same trend on color here. I prefer the color on the left. And uh, zoom in to 100%. Mm, I think they are the same. They have the same amount of details. And uh, they are both uh, very clean in, uh, in the sky, if you look at the sky. And they have the same amount of uh, noise uh, reduction. Okay, now let's move on to the, the ultra wide angle. This is the first set of photos from the ultra wide angle. From first glance, um, color is slightly more vibrant on the left. And uh, what about details? Can you see any difference? To be honest, I I can't. I, I think they are the same. Okay, so it's the it's a very consistent trend here that uh, they produce practically the same uh, photo in terms of details while the Snapdragon has a, a bit more pleasing color. Okay, next set of photos from the ultra wide angle. Overall, they both look good, except uh, if you look at the colors here on the right is almost uh, no color, but on the left on the Snapdragon, you see a bit of um, reddish hue here. It's just a bit more uh, saturated and the uh, same amount of detail. Okay, exactly the same. Next, also from ultra wide. Mm, okay, um, I think, yeah, they are, they are just more or less the same photo anyway, right? Uh, okay. And uh, next, okay, I'll basically uh, stop repeating myself, just uh, have a look by yourself. Better colors and same detail. Okay, and last set of uh, ultra white images. This is also from ultra white. I think the, the color on the Snapdragon makes the even the lens flare a little bit more disturbing, right? 
um, on the, the right because everything is a bit more washed out so the lens flare is not as pronounced right but other than that mm, no difference I think uh, you can let me know down in the comments right if you think uh, otherwise you think they are somehow different well I fail to notice but to my eyes they are the same now let's move on to the the 3x zoom so um, mm -hmm. I think they mostly look the same except for the color well if we zoom in I think on the right uh, there is a little bit of handshake uh, actually um, at, at this 3x or even 10x zoom levels uh, and you are taking night shots right uh, naturally they need a longer exposure time so they are more likely to have uh, be affected by handshakes it's something that you can't really um, you can't really um, get uh, get rid of right hundred percent so this next set of is also from 3x and if we zoom in a bit I think there is a little bit of handshake from both actually I, I took really a lot of photos already and I try my best to keep my hands uh, stable but uh, sometimes it's just impossible to to completely um, a wide handshake okay next set still from the 3x zoom mm -hmm. um, they both look very very good I think <clears throat> overall the colors are nice and if we zoom in the detail is also quite good I'd say and um, <clears throat> can you tell any difference from these images I think they are the same image but yeah so that, that means Samsung really does a great job here to keep the, the, the image quality consistent across the variants, okay? <clears throat> and another set of photo from the 3x zoom. Mm. <clears throat> How about that? I think they are mostly the same. Um, the, if we zoom in, uh, you can tell the text here on the left you can do so on the right as well but I think the right has a little bit more handshake and if we look at the darker areas pay attention to the uh, detail I think the left really has a little bit more detail just look at the, the leaves on the ground the texture on the ground but I think this might be due to the handshake on the right sometimes it's really difficult to, to avoid <clears throat> last set from 3x the color difference in this set of photos is a little bit more apparent on the left is obviously more saturated it has a more noticeable uh, reddish hue um, but other than that um, if we zoom in if we look at the details in the car i think they are the same right they are the same yes in terms of details no difference and lastly, I have two set of photos from the 10x zoom. And this is uh, where I noticed the most difference between the two variants. <clears throat> Just look at how clear the photo on the, the Exynos is and um, how blurry it is on the Snapdragon. Uh, no matter how hard I try, right, it's just so difficult to produce a, a um, handshake free photo from the snapdragon well you can still manage to do it on the exynos if you try hard enough so i think uh, this might be due to the how samsung uh, expose the, the images uh, if you check the active info the exynos actually choose a much higher iso of twenty five thousand, while the snapdragon is uh, 800 uh, the shutter speed is not accurate so we you just uh, ignore that but i think the higher iso on the exynos enables it to use a, a faster actual shutter speed so that it's just uh, less prone to <coughs> to blurry images right <coughs> if you zoom in to 100 percent and look at the details it's a vast difference right it's much clearer on the exynos and <coughs> it's not just about uh, uh, whether <coughs> it's, it's um 
in this one photo, which one is uh, clearer, which one is uh, good, which one is bad, right? It's a consistent trend. It's just easier to take a good photo from the 10x lens on night mode on the Exynos variant. Well, it's very difficult to do so on the Snapdragon. <clears throat> from next set of uh, photos, I think it's the same. I took this uh, photo four or five times on the Snapdragon. Well, it, it's still not 100% clear, right? If you just look at the, 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 the text far away, uh, it's so clear on the X, uh, not so clear, but it's much clearer on the next on the X, Exynos, right? Compared to the Snapdragon. And uh, yeah, so uh, there's that. I, I really uh, figured this uh, is, is quite consistent. But I think this is something uh, really software uh, related because um, it's how the exposure uh, strategy affects the affects how you can produce a clear photo, right? Uh, maybe with update, uh, Samsung can improve this on the Snapdragon variant. I think it's not a hard thing to do. Okay, okay, guys, there you have it. The comparison of low light photo image quality between the Snapdragon and the Exynos S21 Ultra. So in conclusion, on the ultra wide, main lens and up to 3x zoom lens, they are essentially the same. Only difference we can notice is that the Snapdragon variant will produce slightly more vibrant photos. But in other areas like noise or detail or brightness, they are, they are both the same. So Samsung did a really great job uh, making them consistent. However, for 10x zoom, and even sometimes for 3x zoom, the Snapdragon variant used too slow of a shutter speed that caused uh, too much handshake. So sometimes the photo is blurry, uh, it's not as clear as the Exynos variant. But this is not really a, a guaranteed to happen scenario, it's just something that is more likely to happen on the Snapdragon variant, right? The handshake, I mean. Uh, this is really very interesting result because according to my previous comparison, uh, the 4K low light video image uh, video quality was much better on the Snapdragon. Okay, but this time we are comparing photos, and I've shown you with evidence that in terms of photo image quality, they are really the same. So you don't have to worry about it if you bought the Exynos variant. Uh, you didn't get the worst variant just uh, for photos, right? Okay. So that's all for today's video. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you like it, please uh, give me a thumb up, and share it to your friends, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I'll see you next time.